Hello, this is Mac Master 4848 here. Today in this video I'm going to be reviewing Google Chrome for Mac. Okay, so um put a download link in the description um if you want to try out Google Chrome for Mac. Uh it's similar to um Google Chrome for Windows, um except of course the colour is different. Um at the top on um the Windows version at the top, so the colour is kind of bluish. So um there is um, a private browsing feature, so basically you can open a window, so it's in private browsing, and there's another window which is normal browsing, uh, which is quite a good feature that um, most web browsers don't have at the moment. Uh, you can't make um, tabs like that though. Uh, anyway, that's called incognito window. Anyway, um, Google Chrome, each tab is a separate process. Uh, which of course will use quite a lot of RAM and power um, but the useful thing is that if um, something crashes then um, it's then every, everything else isn't going to crash also but um, Safari uh, for example if Adobe Flash crashes in Safari then all of Safari won't crash so it isn't um, a feature that just Google Chrome has so um, anyway uh, the um, private browsing is called incognito. Uh, you can close windows um, with the same keyboard shortcut. Basically, almost everything's the same keyboard shortcut, except um, you can now easily reopen a closed tab. Uh, there is there is a preferences uh, thing. I'll just show you the preferences. So basically, this basics, personal stuff, and under the hoods, which means um, like advanced preferences. So um, basically, uh, these ones here are quite normal. There aren't really any uh, amazing features here. Uh, so in personal stuff, what you can do is you can synchronize some um, your bookmarks with Safari, or with um, other computers. So um, there's form auto fill things like that um, and you can also get themes for this so you can import some data from another browser so that means like bookmarks and history and things like that or you can clear everything with just one button so in under the hoods you've got some privacy settings like um, DNS prefetching to improve page load performance uh, cookie settings and you can choose a download folder and you can also ask ask them um, where to save each file before downloading which is quite annoying because Safari um, doesn't do that so um, uh, there are suggestion, suggestions for navigation errors and there is also settings so that if there's um, an error for example, if it's an error, then it will send the error to Google Chrome or Google um, stats. They can fix it. So um, there isn't really much more, except um, it's kind of easy to use because uh, the tabs and um, the top of the window are quite near. And um, basically it gives you a lot of space for, for web browsing. Uh, this um, does not have um, a status bar thing, uh, which um, is quite annoying uh, because um, Safari has that, and there also are some developer tools like um, view the page source. Okay, so the developer tools, and there's a task manager. Okay, so this uses quite a lot of memory. But um, other web browsers like Safari use um, stuff the same, and um, it's more advanced stats. But it's kind of weird that um, they call it stats for nerds because there isn't really um, much information here. So um, basically, each process um, runs um, a lot of memory. So um, for me, it uses looks like process uses about fifteen megabytes RAM. 
when when it isn't really using anything like flash. The and the developer, there's some developers tools uh, where um, I think you can change stuff like um, background color and things like that, or you can see the background color, and you can see different scripts um, here, and um, there are different profiles and things like that. So um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please rate, comment and subscribe and check out my other tutorials and videos.